What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be going through how to make a fully automated tree farm in Feed the Beast. So I have it set up right here and I'm going to go through step by step as to how to build this in a second. But I'm going to go over the basics first. Pretty much what this will get you is it will get you sand, it will get you saplings. If you want to take the saplings out of it, you don't have to though. It will get you wood and it will get you apples. And it's really effective at what it does. I love this. I have it in every world that I make in Feed the Beast. It's really easy to make, it's really compact, it's a 13 by 13 square and you may want to carve out a little bit more than that wherever you put it or if you put it outside the trees will just grow like normal but the dimensions that the hummus is going to be planted in are 13 by 13 and as you can see you're going to need a little bit more space for the trees to grow. So right here we have the arboretum. The arboretum takes in saplings and it takes in hummus and it puts out sand. So sand comes out any of the sides. Um, and I have it right now put into a chest, you can put it into a void pipe, or you can smelt it right away. It doesn't really matter, you just need to know that it comes out any of the four sides. Then you have saplings and hummus which can go in any of the sides, including the top and bottom, unlike sand which is only on the four sides around it. And I do not pump in hummus in this setup, and that's mainly because Hummus is only planted whenever a tree grows, one hummus per tree being grown, except for around a stack when you first make it. So if you refill this, you can put in four stacks, which is a lot of trees. So if you refill this probably like every day, like if you're playing Minecraft like all day and this is going and you refill it every day, that should be good. Because think of that, four times 64, I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, actually, I think it's 276. But that's 276 trees at around five pieces of wood each. So that's over a thousand pieces of wood. So you're gonna get that from just one full thing of hummus, which is crazy. So that's all you need to do with this whole machine is put in hummus. That's the only thing you're gonna have to do to keep this machine going. Other than that, if you use electrical engines, which I do prefer, it's gonna be fully automatic. So that's really all you need to know about the arboretum. The saplings have their own section that shows you where to put them and the sand comes right out. So the next is the logger. Now the logger puts apples and saplings at the top and then we have them come straight to a diamond pipe Whoops, which is going to be putting apples into the green which will go into this chest along with wood. Wood comes out any of the four sides and that's also going into this chest and then we're gonna have the saplings go through the black and get put right back into the arboretum. Now it's going to eventually overflow so you might want to take some of those out and use them for biofuel but if you don't really feel like doing that you can just leave them there they'll despawn eventually but if you're worried about lag you can always just make 50% of them by attaching another pipe you can make 50% of them just kind of go away you can put them into a void pipe you can put them into lava it doesn't really matter but I guess I can flip this glove around and show you how it works so while I'm waiting for it to start up, I'll go over the engines. I prefer electrical engines just because you can hook up solar panels to them and they'll work perfectly. They're really easy to set up. Right here you can just see I have solar panels on the back. You could use one solar panel and attach it with cable. It doesn't really matter, but I prefer these if you guys were curious. So now you can see this working. You can see the sapling is going down. Also, if you didn't already know, this is going to pick up the logger picks up the saplings that fall. So you will see saplings falling and then it just kind of picks them up. So you have the logs coming out the side going into the chest. You have the saplings going up into the arboretum. It's replanting them as it cuts down trees. And we'll see sand coming out the side into that chest. It is really effective guys and it's really fast. And you can only make it faster if you, I guess you'd call it overclocking these. And yes, they do go into forced cooldown. But, I mean, that's only a bit, and you're going to have to have time to let the trees grow anyway. So, you can see the apple here, obviously going through the diamond pipe, getting sorted. This works. It's, it's amazing, guys. So now, I'm going to jump over, and I'm going to rebuild this whole thing. Okay, guys, so I have pretty much everything in my inventory that we're going to need to make this set up. So, I guess we can just slap down the logger and the arboretum right next to each other. So the arboretum is going to need to have a pipe coming out the side. It does not need to be a wooden pipe. It just can be any pipe because it automatically pumps that out. That's going to be where the sand comes out, and we're just going to put that right into a chest. Next, the arboretum is going to need to be dug under or put stuff in the top, but the setup I'm going to show you is going to be going under it because we're going to have stuff coming out the top of the logger. And this setup is if you don't want to use different types of pipes, 
because you don't want them to conflict. So they can't be right next to each other. So we're going to have the pipe go up to the top of the logger because that's where it's going to put out the apples and the saplings and we need the saplings to go into the bottom of the arboretum. So we're going to break this pipe right here. You can break them anywhere but I prefer right here and we're going to put in a diamond pipe and that's going to be to sort the apples from the saplings. And then we're going to have the wood from the logger come out the other side of the logger opposite the side of uh, sand comes out of the arboretum and that's just going to circle around into a chest put that right there. Then we're going to connect the diamond pipe to the chest and just make sure you look at the color and make sure you have an apple in your inventory. So you can see that the yellow side is the side that goes into the chest so you're going to need to go in and put an apple in the yellow slot so the apple will come out the side and go into the chest. Now the setup is pretty much done all you need to do is attach your engines and attach your power source and then obviously put levers down you can flip both of them. Now I wouldn't really consider this making it but you will need to put I will put a sapling in there and you will need to put hummus which really isn't that hard to make but we'll put a stack of hummus in there and it should start building it right away like I said it's a 13 by 13 box with the last or the outside two being hummus with saplings on top of them and this should start any moment I do believe the engines need to warm up so I'll cut back when it starts building Okay guys, so that didn't take very long. They do need to warm up to green, and it is now building the outer layer with hummus, and I'll just let you guys watch it build. It's really pretty fast, and that's only with one engine. So you can overclock them using circuit boards. I know they changed it a bit, but I don't believe they changed anything other than the circuit boards that would be involved in this whole system. This is in the Mindcrack pack, because I'm having issues getting my ultimate pack working. But hopefully I'll have that working in a day or two so that I can give you guys some more tutorials on things that are in the ultimate pack that aren't in the mind crack pack. So you can see it plants the saplings. I only put one in there but I just wanted to be able to show you guys that it automatically plants it and it's it really is fast. I really love this and I guess we can come back over here because that's that's how you build it. There's nothing else to show you guys and I'll show you the chests. So look at that. From what I had when I started this and maybe like one or two other trees that have grown we've gotten this much and you can see that the saplings are increasing steadily actually and we're getting sand. Now you can use sand I believe to make more fertile or uh, more hummus and so if you really want to you can make a more complicated system that I may go into in the future that utilizes the sand to make hummus that will be fully automatic but for now this is really just phenomenal there's nothing else that you need to do with it to make it much better it's really compact and just remember that you're going to need probably I would say a 15 by 15 area because the trees will need space to grow I've made that mistake before where I don't leave them space to grow and they won't grow so preferably do this outside and you can see it takes probably a stack and a quarter of hummus to complete this but I'll leave you guys with this please be sure to subscribe to help me um, this is a new channel that I'm making that I hope to put out tutorials daily on and please rate and tell me what you want to see the next day because uh, I always will have stuff planned but if you guys want to tell me what you want to see I can do that and help you out a little bit more so I'll see you guys tomorrow